Hello, welcome to the chapter four, section one video on cell processes and energy. Uh, we will be talking specifically about photosynthesis in this video. You should have your book open to page 118 through 122 during this video. I'm Mrs. Erling and with me today are Mr. Knox and Mrs. Kim. Uh, the key idea for this video is how do cells obtain the energy they need to carry out their functions? And our essential question that you should be able to answer at the end of this video is what are the two stages of photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the process by which a cell captures energy in sunlight and uses it to make food. Nearly all living things depend on energy from the sun and organisms rely either directly or indirectly. So if we look in the chart over here, the sun shines on the grass and the grass grows. It relies directly on the sun for its energy. The deer eats the grass, so the deer relies on the grass, so it relies indirectly on the sunlight, and then the deer gets eaten by the wolf. Poor deer, got eaten. Okay, photosynthesis occurs in two stages, and the first stage is when the um, plant captures the sun's energy. And the leaves of a plant, their sole job is to capture the sun's energy to make food. Leaves are green because they have a certain pigment called chlorophyll, and it gives them their green color. And not only that, but it traps in the sunlight. And then they use this energy that they capture from the sun, and they go on and to, into the second stage of photosynthesis. Okay, the second stage of photosynthesis is actually making the food. They take the water in from the ground through the roots, and the leaves have little tiny holes underneath called stomata, or stoma, singular, and they take in carbon dioxide from the air. We breathe out the carbon dioxide and they take it in and combining the water with carbon dioxide and then the sunlight that they trapped, they can make food, which is our sugar. Then once they make the carbon, they take the carbon dioxide, turn it into oxygen, and they release that into the air and then we are able to breathe that in. Okay, what does the stomata remind you of in the human body? If you said a person's mouth, you'd be correct. Okay, so right now I'd like you to pause and see if you can summarize the two stages of photosynthesis. So this is photosynthesis in a picture. As you guys know, photosynthesis, you need sunlight you need carbon dioxide and you need water. How the plant gets the water is through its root system. The root's job is to soak up the water, bring it up to the leaves. As Miss Kim talked about, the stoma or stomata, this is where the carbon dioxide enters the leaf and the sunlight provides the energy for uh, the production of food. Now, a lot of students think photosynthesis, the uh, uh, the food is made magically, but it's not. If you guys look here at this uh, chemical equation, we have six carbon dioxides. So what this means is we have a carbon and two oxygens stuck together, and we got six of them. So we got a total, if we, if we do the math, we got six carbons, and we have a total of 12 oxygens right here. So if you look over here, six carbons, six carbons, you see on this side of the equation, notice we also have six carbons. We're going to explain this later on in class, but notice that nothing is created here. It's just rearranged. These elements have just been rearranged. So this is photosynthesis in pictures. All right, so what happens 
what happens to the photosynth or what happens to the food that the plant produces? Well, some of it is used for food. The plants need energy. Plants are alive, so they need energy. And a lot of students forget this. Because they need energy, plants also have mitochondria, just like you and I. We just happen to have more mitochondria than plants. So the plants need food for energy to stay alive. However, a lot of their food goes into the process of making their cell wall. It changes the food into cellulose, which uh, produces the cell wall. And plants also store food. We as humans, Mr. Knox stores a lot of energy in the form of fat. Plants store their energy in their roots. You uh, uh, look at carrots, oops. Look at carrots, and carrots is the stored food for the plant. Potatoes is an excellent example of stored food. If your mom ever bought potatoes and she threw them in the cabinet and she forgot about them for a, a week to two weeks in a dark cabinet, you'll see them start to grow. And you're like, what in the world? How are they growing without sunlight? Well, it's because that potato is stored food for the plant. The plant is relying on that stored food or the potato, the starch in the potato, to start growing roots and um, uh, little stems and stuff and of course the potato is bad by that time and you throw it away all right so uh, that's what plants do with their with their food production all right quick write um, this last thing in your notes make sure you guys write a short little paragraph describing the process of photosynthesis in your paragraph you should include these words carbon dioxide water sugar oxygen photosynthesis sunlight chloroplast and stomata well thank you for listening until next time I want to do like a Bob Ross thing there. <laughs>